Nam yo honing get on, 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 nam yo honing get on. Hi, I'm Margaret, and this is the channel where we take Buddhist philosophy and practice and apply it to the problems and concerns of everyday life. And since we last met, I've had a number of questions about doubt. So our topic today is going to be how to banish doubt and create what you want. So why does doubt keep coming up and often remain persistent? Well, we have two sides. We have a human side and our spiritual side. Our human side is taught from babyhood to use the rational mind and to rely on our senses to look to our circumstances to determine what we believe is possible. Most cultures support this point of view. And our human side was born into a three-dimensional world where there's a timeline of past, present, and future. Our spiritual side, on the other hand, operates with entirely different laws. It operates from consciousness itself, where everything exists in the eternal now. Now our spiritual side doesn't use the rational mind. It uses the imagination, which is not constrained by the senses or by reason. And there's no timeline at this level of the mind, for everything occurs in the now. This means when you set a goal, it happens simultaneously at this level of consciousness. Even though you can't see it on the timeline of our three-dimensional world. Now you're being asked to make a shift, to let go of what you've been taught to be true on your human side, where you determine what's possible through the evidence of the senses. And you're being asked to stop identifying with your human side of, in my case, Margaret. You know that within your body is that universal consciousness which creates everything. We call it your Buddha nature. Now, you're being asked instead to identify with what we fundamentally are, that universal consciousness itself, the ninth level of mind, the level of the mystic law. Now, when you think about it, you know that you are that. It looks out through all of our eyes. It's the awareness we all possess. We're one with that evolutionary consciousness that built the universe. And we have the same generative capacities. This state of consciousness, which you're one with, is what does the work when you set a goal. So all we're responsible for is setting the goal and keeping the faith. Your, in my case, Margaret, human side, has certain limitations. And in order to go beyond these limitations when we set a goal, we have to set aside our belief in these limitations and expand our consciousness further to incorporate that goal. Now, the challenge when we set a goal is to believe and have the faith that it is already accomplished. When our human senses and reason say that is absolutely not the case. We have to stand on the rock of faith, which is built by having repeated experiences of overcoming one obstacle after another.
Now doubts are like the waves of the ocean tossed about by the wind. They arise readily because on our human side, there's a period of time from our setting of the goal to the time that it actually comes to fruition. The challenge, and it's a big one, is to keep our thoughts and beliefs in alignment with our goal. When all of our senses are absolutely denying it's already happened. Our imagination, coupled with the consciousness of Namyo Renge Kyo, creates reality. When we sit in front of the Kohansan, we are envisioning, imagining our goal as already accomplished. Now I know that's difficult. Most of, most of the time, we think it's in the future. So how can we banish doubt? Give yourself an experience of your goal being realized. Imagine what it would look like, sound like, feel like, smell like, taste like, depending on your goal. Imagine it's happening as though it's already happening. For example, let's say you want a new car. Imagine yourself getting into the car, smelling that new car smell, turning the key, feeling the wind in your face, smelling gasoline. Imagine a trip in your new car, what you would see and hear. And imagine how you would feel as you turn that key the first time. Make it as detailed and real as possible, as though you're already driving that car. Or, let's say, you want a certain type of experience. Imagine what it would feel like, the details of it, and live in it in your imagination. Now, we tend to look as our goals as though we are an observer. And that goal is in the future. And when we see it like that, guess what? It's going to remain in the future. That's what we're envisioning. You may find that your thoughts revert to the old way of doing things, which wouldn't be at all surprising because that is our habitual way of looking at life. So when you become aware of it, just bring those thoughts back to viewing your goal as already done. And eventually, you may have to do it over and over and over again, but eventually they'll do what you say. So in summary, we have two sides, the human and the spiritual. The human side works through reason and the senses. The spiritual side through the imagination and intuition. When setting a goal, you must shift from your human side to your spiritual side and imagine it's already done and you're having the full experience of it. When your thoughts go back to looking at it as though it's in the future and it hasn't happened yet, return them to the experience of the goal happening now by coming to your goal and envisioning it in all the detail we talked about. You experience it in, in imagination as though it's already happened. So keep bringing your thoughts back to it each time they stray and start seeing your goal in the future and bring them back to having an experience of it in the present. I have really enjoyed your questions and your comments as always. I love to hear from you. 
and we will have another vlog the first Thursday of next month. I'll see you then.